Hello guys, welcome to the Reco Genius Academy. So today we are here to discuss the next session on the Beagle Bone Black. So whatever we have discussed earlier that uh, how we can create the tool chain. And uh, our next topic is like how we can set up the Linux kernel in the device tree binary. So we will compile the kernel, some modules if required and uh, the device tree binary. Okay, so uh, First of all, like we will go to the terminal and uh, I have a folder and uh, we will go to step 3 and uh, here you can see the Linux kernel. So we will go to this Linux kernel folder and uh, in this, so just like in U-Boot, we have seen something like dev config files, which contain most of the setting that would require to compile the kernel, which will run on the BeagleBone Blackboard. So we, we can check uh, those um, SOCs or like some files, which can, um, which can present in this uh, dev config file and uh, including this AM335X, which is the IC of the BeagleBone Black. To go to that uh, folder, so we have to go to this arc arm directory and uh, after that we need to go to this configs and after that multi v7 dev config, right? So here if I just want to go and uh, search, so you can see here, so uh, this is the IC, uh, SOCs which is present uh, for uh, like uh, compiling the kernel and all these things. So uh, this is the different file. So the different different uh, like SOCs are present in this. And uh, now uh, just to create the dot config file, what we will do? So we will uh, write the command r make multi v7 def config yeah this is the only one so this will create our dot config file okay so our dot config file is created so now just to uh, add a few of the configurations so uh, what we need to do so we need to uh, uh, make some changes so we will write the command make menu config so we will go to that configurations and uh, uh, we will just uh, do some uh, general setup so uh, this is the thing so actually uh, it, it depends on you like how uh, you want your uh, setup to be done so uh, first we will go to the general setup and uh, after that uh, we'll just uh, go to this okay kernel compression mode uh, we'll make it as xz okay uh, so what else we can do here so i just need to find out okay so we'll um, make it uh, enable this k props by entering space What else we can do? So we'll go to this uh, kernel config boot and uh, we will enable this. So what is that uh, mean of this uh, M? So M is for like uh, we have to compile as a external module. So uh, this star is like uh, built into that kernel. So we just have to enable this. And uh, we just need to see that uh, this uh, loadable kernel module is enabled or not. Yes. So set loadable kernel module data is for uh, we just need to enable this so just to uh, make some uh, um, uh, testing on this uh, kernel and all yeah so we'll just go to the another folder another thing yeah so we have just done this 
after that uh, we'll go to check some kernel features um, i'm just looking for seccom yeah seccom is enabled so i just need to uncheck this why i just don't want to allow the syscalls so why i am just di uh, disabling this thing so we will uh, see in the later things when uh, we will uh, do some uh, coding and testing in this uh, um, firmware and all this thing so how uh, why i am just unchecking so we will see it later and uh, this is it so what else i can change i can up update so we'll go to this uh, network support so we'll just go to the networking option and uh, i'm just looking for the netflash yeah so i just uh, i just want to enable this okay um, that's it for now so i'll just save the configuration and i'll exit yeah so this is done uh, just to uh, keep it safe i have just uh, created a and uh, some created a configuration which i have tested earlier so um, uh, in further steps i'll not get any uh, errors or any delay so what i will do i will just copy my config file whatever that configuration I have done and I've tested to this config great so after that what we will do we will write the command and make hyphen j dollar and proc z image so we it's a kernel image so we need to create this um some modules if required and the device tree binaries okay so we will enter into this so this will take some time so meanwhile i'll just uh, pause the video and uh, after that we'll come back to see like uh, our compile uh, um, our compilation is uh, successfully done or not Okay, so now you can see our Z image is ready. So how can uh, we see into this uh, folder? So we will go to this arc directory and uh, after that to arm and after that to boot. So you can see our Z image, so our kernel image is created. Okay, so now if you want to see the device tree binaries, so what you need to do just go to the directory dts in a like after that boot okay so here you can see the different device tree binaries uh, so if you want to check um, what what is that uh, beaglebone black device tree binary so how you can check go to boot dts am 3 3 5x bone black dot dot ttp yep oh sorry so this will be our de device tree binary for the beaglebone black great uh, now uh, what we'll do we have uh, set it that uh, device tree binary at the linux kernel so our next step is to uh, set the set up the root file system so what we will do we will go to the another step or uh, step four
okay so in this uh, we have the build root as you can see so uh, that is basically used to create the root file system so uh, what we will do to extract that uh, build root okay uh, we'll go to this build root directory and uh, uh, next, what next we will do just to create the dot config file uh, we'll write it the command arm make beagle bone def config okay just wait for the second I missed something. Uh, no rule to make. Mm. Make file is there. Okay. So what we need to write? Uh, make. Beagle bone. Underscore def config okay so uh, i need to go to this build root directory for that and run the command okay so the, our dot config uh, file is created so now what we will do just to uh, make some changes in the, um, in, in, the, in the in the in the build root and the, the root file system so we'll uh, go to uh, our make man menu config Okay, so what we can change here. So first uh, we'll go to the tool chain. So it's a build root tool chain. So we, we just no, don't need the build root tool chain. So our tool chain is external. So that's why we, we will just uh, select the um, external tool chain. Uh, what extra thing we can do It's a Lenaro ARM toolchain, so we have created our own custom toolchain. So we will just select our custom toolchain. Mm. Okay, so now we have to change the prefix for that. If you remember, I have discussed earlier in the first video that uh, what will be the prefix. Uh, so that will be unknown. I'm unknown hyphen Linux hyphen U C lib C G N U E A B I H F H F is a hard float. Okay, we can see uh, U C lib C G N U E A B I H F. Okay, that's great. So what else we can change we can just enable wcare local support it just depend on you like how you can uh, how can you, you can change or uh, modify these things uh, in your toolchain according to your uh, requirement Enable the RPC support. So, okay. So, uh, this uh, GCC version uh, will change it to six. Okay. Um, headers. We will what we are using we are using 4.10 so we can use it to, we can change it to 4.10 okay uh, that's it for this thing okay in the kernel 
so uh, we have uh, uh, created we have just compiled our our, our own linux kernel so what we will do just disable this okay so because build root will uh, create the um, actually build root is not uh, for this linux kernel and the u boot and all these things so build root we are using only to create the uh, root file system so we'll just go to file system images and uh, what we can change change here okay compression method we can change this to xc mm, nothing else okay bootloader so you would we just need to disable so what why uh, because uh, we are creating our own you would so no need to enable this I think that's it for now like I've just uh, modify some of the uh, configuration so I just need to save this yeah so everything is ready so uh, just to keep it safe uh, What I'll do, I'll just copy this uh, 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 config uh, config file. Okay. Um, great. What we will do, we'll just copy the download folder to here. Okay, so the deal is not created. Um, we'll copy. Uh, first, we'll do a uh, make clean. Great. After that, we'll mm. okay. So DL is created. Um, LS the download. Okay, nothing is there. So we'll copy the all the download folder to here. So ls dl, yeah. So what is this? This is the uh, packages which is uh, useful uh, while we are uh, creating the root file system. So this I have already downloaded. So uh, just for that, like uh, it will not take the um, so much of internet because uh, uh, there'll be some uh, low speed of that internet all those things. So that's why just for the uh, uh, safe purpose, like I have just downloaded before that. So if uh, you don't need this, just try to uh, compile as it is so it will uh, automatically download but uh, i have already uh, downloaded so i just uh, keep it as an and copy into the uh, download folder and uh, now we will copy the build root uh, conf okay config to this in folder and okay and after that we'll do the amic great so it will uh, take some time and um, so meanwhile i'll just uh, pause the video for a while yeah so uh, 
uh, we have uh, successfully created the root file system so don't forget about the uh, just don't uh, uh, like uh, bother about this uh, mlo thing uh, this error is coming because we have just um, disable the u-boot and that uh, MLO will generate and all these things but uh, we have created our own u-boot and MLO and all these things so uh, no need to bother about uh, these stuff and all um, uh, our motive is like uh, just to create the root file system and we, uh, if uh, you want to make it sure we can uh, see this in output now uh, one second output images yeah so here you can see the root file system uh, and the uinvit.txt uh, file so uh, we have successfully created the root file system so now what next so we will uh, setting up the uh, boot thing so uh, what we will do uh, we will just uh, connect our sd card to the laptop great will go to G part it uh, there are different different uh, <coughs> sorry tools are there so we you can use uh, based on their uh, like based on your requirement like based on your choice <coughs> sorry okay this is taking some time So it will show you uh, the partition and all actually uh, I have uh, showed you like how we can uh, boot that um, you boot and all these things uh, all that runnable image into the typical one black so we have created our own uh, custom uh, U boot uh, Linux kernel so uh, what we will do we will just uh, first uh, unmount this It'll take some time. Similarly, like we'll uh, unmount uh, each and every partition. After that, we'll uh, label that and uh, we'll manage the flags and all. And after that, we'll copy all the MLO, U boot, uh, your text file your uh, into the uh, first partition which will be your fat32 and uh, into this uh, second partition uh, we will add our your linux kernel and the device tree binary and in the third partition will write your uh, root file system we'll just put the root file system in there So this will be the third partition. I'm just unmounting this. Okay. So, uh, first uh, partition will just format it to FAT32. Second, uh, we'll just format it to ext4. And uh, third, we will just uh, format it to ext4. And uh, we'll just apply the operations.
okay all operations are successfully completed now we can just uh, label we can just uh, give the name okay to first we can label it as a boot second kernel and third will be your root file system okay so i'll just check the flag okay it's checked on the boot we'll just apply the operations and this is successfully done so now after closing this you can see the pop-ups like uh, this boot kernel and root file system um, partition is will be will create And after that, we'll copy all the files into this uh, SD card based on the partition. Like, what are the partitions we have done? Okay. Now you can see here boot, your kernel, your root file system. So, uh, each and every partition is created. So now what we'll do, we'll just go to this uh, terminal. We'll go to this step five. Now, uh, what you can see, this media, okay. So you can see this uh, boot kernel and root file system partition. So uh, what I have done, I've just uh, created a script uh, just to get all the uh, uh, MLO, U-boot, your text file, your uh, image, YC binary and root file system into this folder. So uh, like um, I'll just run this script and uh, now you can see here. So all your device tree binaries, your image and all this thing came here. And uh, what I have just done, uh, I can show you. So this is the script I have just, uh, this is the script I just to copy all the images to the particular uh, directory. So, uh, so let's get started. Like for uh, first, what we will do, we'll just um, copy the our MLO to the media. Project into the boot directory. After that, we'll copy the U boot you boot image to media budget boot okay after that we'll copy uh uen with txt so uh, what i have made the changes so I, i'll just go into that so your mmc is the dev type your mmc dev is equals zero so there'll be the second partition the boot partition is the second partition and the boot file is the z image and your flattened device strip is the am335x bone black dot dtp i have shown you earlier in this video and uh, you can see here the boot arguments uh, this i have explained you earlier and uh, uh, what i have done this root file system that uh, partition is in the third block so i have just changed it to the third three and uh, i have just uh, write some messages just to see that if you uh, if you'll go, like go to the uh, custom line export, so when we'll run into the uh, BeagleBone Black, you can see this uh, log over there. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just copy the UNVTXT to media. Rajat, this put. Okay, so now we will copy our kernel image. 
to media as a kernel okay then we'll copy the device tree binary m 35 to media as a uh, why i have um, giving the pseudo operations on this uh, uh, let me know in the comments so if uh, you don't have this idea i'll mention you i'll just uh, reply you back it's just a question for you i'm done okay so after that uh, we'll just copy the root file system bjf your file system okay done so we have copied each and everything so what we will do we will just unplug our sd card And uh, now I'm just putting my SD card into the BeagleBone Black. I have already set my UART uh, to the BeagleBone Black. Okay, so now we will go to GTK term. This is the terminal. So I have already set the your device, your configuration, and all these things. So go to this port, and your port will be just check it like your port will be the uh, slash tab DT by USB zero, and uh, your baud rate will be double one uh, uh, five to double zero parity will be none and bits will be one uh, no uh, one stop bit and uh, the flow control will be none so um i have just uh, set it earlier uh, so what we will do now um, we will just plug our beagleman black and uh, don't forget to press your boot button before and connecting the USB cable to the laptop great you can see the u-boot okay this is just the timer wash of timer okay okay starting kernel and welcome to the build room so just write root okay now you have just entered u name hyphen a so this is the linux kernel we have successfully installed our linux kernel our custom linux boot on the beagle bone black so if you can see the logs here so these are the logs I just need to scroll and I have to mention it 2000 okay and okay so you can see the u-boot uh, 15 December I uh, we we have just created a few days back and uh, we have created our Linux kernel and all these things root
these are our logs so here you can see the boot arguments which i have shown you so custom linux boot on the beaglebone black by the tech genius academy so you can change whatever you want so uh, this is how you can boot your uh, custom linux on the beaglebone black so um, in the next session what we will do we will just try to uh, write the kernel module and we will insert into the like into the host machine we will do it in the native way also and we will cross compile and we will uh, put it into the beaglebone black and we will test it and further we will go into some drivers and all these things so maybe it like it will be a crypto driver we maybe it like we will go to jump into the usb driver block driver and after that we will go to the ethernet driver um, some network drivers and all these things so uh, if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, please uh, mention in some comments if you have any doubt i'll I'll try to um, solve uh, as much as, as I can. So thank you so much.